Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. Playing some FTL, but it might not look like it because what you're looking at is my desktop with uh, some uh, an old screenshot from Kerbal Space Program on the on the background. But what we're doing today for the 100th episode is I figured I would showcase a uh, a, a mod, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, it's actually a program that you run that generates a mod for FTL, and that is called Rantrell, and you can find that on the forums. There will be a link in the YouTube page, um, and if I'm smart enough, I'll also put it on the screen here. But uh, go to, uh, basically go to the forums, find it, download it, and run it. Um, here, here it is, me, I just unzipped it into my, uh, I've got an FTL folder right off my D drive that I just put everything in. Uh, when you run it, though, you can set the output file destination. The, um, I, I, again, put my own file destination down there, and then you just click that, that button there that says Build Random Ship. And when you do that, if you find the DOS prompt that this thing opened up, it'll spit out a whole bunch of uh, things that it's, that it's spitting out. And then you uh, load up Mod Manager, and you s make sure it's selected. You see here I've got all my little mods selected. I put this last, didn't seem to work fine, so I say put it last. Um, there's also an uh, uh, advanced edition, I'm sorry, a captain's edition version of this. If you like captain's edition, I would uh, say run captain's edition first, <laughs> and then load this thing so it, it modifies the ships uh, appropriately. And then uh, go ahead and update and see what happens. And here's what we got. Um, the Rand Trail here. Uh, th these are all randomly generated. You're not going to get the same ships I got. Uh, this guy kind of looks like a, a only three gun... Uh, red tail uh, with an automated reloader, so he's a little bit faster and an FTL jammer that, of course, you could sell for quick, easy cash at the beginning. Um, and notice that the the ship colors are different too. Uh, the Rand Tail, uh, this guy is crazy with the ions. Um, I don't know how you would play this ship. <laughs> and the Rand Low uh, comes with ooh, I like this dual laser and a charge laser. Every 11 seconds, he can fire four shots, and it only costs two power. This guy is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got, let's start at the bottom here. This guy has, uh, let's see, two shots, or three shots every 11 seconds. So he's kind of the same here, but he's also got, he's also got the beam, and the artillery beam, and so he looks pretty good. Uh, the Ransos here, he's got a missile, dual lasers, doesn't really jump out at me as an awesome ship. Uh, obviously, two basics and a Lido, eh, not too bad. Drop the Lido uh, early on and buy something else, that, that, that seems pretty good. Uh, moving on here, what have we got? Oh, the, the Zoltan ships, apparently they all come with Zoltan shields. This guy's got a shield plus thing, which is kind of cool. Um, Halberd beam and a breach, this looks a lot like the, uh, what you call it, the B ship. Um... I don't remember the name of it. Oops, jumped jumped too far. Uh, but yeah, all these ships basically it generates three of each type of ship, or two of the Lanius and the uh, and the Crystal ship. This guy, whoa, this these guys look very similar. Just different bomb, basically. <laughs> oh, and this guy has an automated reloader too, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the C type uh, Pike beam and a charge ion. That's pretty nasty. I really like this guy. Charge up two charge ions, toss them off, and then by the time they hit, the pike beam's ready to slice them up. I, yeah, this this would be a fun ship to play. Um, moving on, uh, this guy's got mantis pheromones and a breach bomb and a teleporter. Uh, nothing major about him. Lido and a teleporter and a battery pack. Uh, two basic lasers and a teleporter. Um, and they've all, they all come with four mantises. All two mantises and a human for this one. The random monster. I love it. <laughs> uh, the rand of war here. Uh, nice orange color. Um, Anti-bio beam. So, so they, they carry some of the flavor. Oh, advanced flak. They carry the flavor of the um, of the, the, the ships while maintaining a random layouts and uh, and crew complements and things like that. Uh, the rand SR-12, dual lasers and a mini beam. That's, that's a much different... Uh, feel to it than the things he knows there's no shield on these guys just like in the regular ones uh, Charge laser and a heavy laser. That's kind of cool too. two automated reloaders. That is freaking crazy um, And uh, this guy here Oh, I like this ship He's got two laniuses and a teleporter uh, No clone bay so you can't you can't do the the run but then with the dual lasers you can take out their med bay in the first sector which is kind of cool. Um, this guy, no teleporter. 
Uh, Hull Laser and an Ion Stunner, pretty good combo there. Ion Stunner in 10 seconds takes down the, the shields, then boom, you Hull Laser them. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. Um, I haven't unlocked the, uh, the, the crystal ship in this, in this current save. This is not my, the, the save that I normally play. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to screw it up by doing that. But I'm going to, I'm going to take one of these guys out and just play the first sector just to see what it's like. And I'm really curious how, which one is it? Uh, how this one runs with, uh, basically two power to, to, to be a red tail. So we're going to play this on hard mode and we're going to see what happens. We're just going to run through Sector 1 for the fun of it to see what happens here. Um, and we're just going to do a quick um, run through here. Uh, let's try to rescue the survivors. And we take 4 damage to our hull and lose our med bay. Good start to the, good start to the run here. It's exactly the kind of run I was hoping for in this ship to showcase off the the thing here. One thing I noticed is this thing doesn't have a shield. I think it might be. Um, I think I have the high res shields mod, high res shields mod, and I think I should run it first. And then my guys didn't fix the med bay, which is annoying. Um, so you might have to you might have to fiddle with the order that you put that you put your mods in there. Um, it looks like I should have put the high res mod shields mod first. However, the shields do work. It's just they don't show up. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this automated ship, and holy cow, he's powerful. Luckily, we get a shot off every 5.5 seconds. That shot, of course, misses, which makes things a lot harder. But we got rid of everything important, so let's switch over to the uh, to, to their cockpit, and then they're dead. So that was easy. <clears throat> Investigate the station system repair drone. That'll sell if we ever go to a store, which I'm not ready to do. If we had more to sell than just that drone, I think I would go to the store. If we if it came with some stupid augment like FTL recharge booster or something like that, um, let's go ahead and bribe the rebels because sometimes you get a good a good item from this. Eh, not bad. I mean, we got some fuel and a and a drone part. I guess it's basically a wash. Probably should have fought the rebels. Uh, demand the surrender of their goods. Why, of course we do that. Okay, they're trying to get away. They've got a lot of stuff. I think we need to take out weapons and drones. And we did. So now we need to take out their shields, ideally. And their cockpit. There we go. Now I think weapons and shields are weapons and drones again. Sweet. Okay, you guys go fix the oxygen while he fixes the cockpit here. And we got seven scrap for that. Probably not worth it, but what are you going to do? Okay, Curry. Tim Curry, as soon as you finish that, go ahead and get yourself to the med bay here. And then everybody back to your posts. Our ship is a nice shade of pink, but we are going to continue regardless. Let's go ahead and head down here. Actually, this does not get us across in any way, so we've got to go over here. And then here, and then we'll go around kind of like this. We'll figure out how to do it. So, yeah. And a sun. A missile and a drone. The drone is basically a non-entity. So, we're going to take that missile out as soon as we get charged up here. Okay, then it's time to take the shields out. We should probably have our dodge at full. What do you think about that? Yeah, not quite as, as easy to use as the... Uh, as the... Um, What do you call it? The uh, red tail, because uh, the, the the guns don't actually sync up the same way the red tails guns do. But it's still pretty easy, and it's only two power, so it's kind of hard to argue. Two power for to to take an extra second, half, you know, half the power to to do one more second of charge time. I think that's a pretty good uh, bargain there. Okay, if I had my two shields, this guy would not be a problem at all. He's trying to get away, so step one is taking out his, one of his weapons. And I hate to do it, but we're going to empty the air out of this room. 
There we go. We took out one of his weapons, so he should never be a problem again. And then you two are going to go right to the oxygen room to fix it. Okay, now, see, his guns aren't synced anymore. So now we're going to shoot at these two. Oh, I guess their guns are synced. Okay, fine. We'll take these out. <laughs> you guys go fix the shields. Okay, 14 scrap. Took a lot of damage. Again, fight probably wasn't worth it, but it gets us our shield, which is probably super important here. So we're going to uh, actually get that shield going. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna buy the shield right now, and then as soon as we can, we're gonna buy the scrap for it. We can't actually run it right now because we need to take power out of two things to get the shield going. Aid the civilian ship. Why? Yes. Okay, there's no need for the shield here. So what we're going to do is, as soon as the charge laser's ready... There, his weapons are down. Now notice, it's really nice to have that extra power in the weapons, to be honest. Just, just simply to, uh, as a buffer here. We're just really punishing the weapons guy for living. And I hate to use the char... Oh, I definitely hate to use a charge laser like that now. Why does everybody hate my, uh, my shields? There. Oh, and that. Jeez. Or my shields. Why does everybody hate my oxygen? <laughs> Contact the civilian. They give us a healing burst. Oh, and that's on fire. Okay, I'm just going to empty the air out of this room. You guys fight this fire, and as soon as it's out, get up here. Should probably have that on. Go over here, make sure the fire didn't spread. Okay, it didn't. You get down and help. Things could be better. This 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 run is just yeah. This is similar to the to the run I deleted. I I I'm at, I was I'm at about the same whole health that I was at in, the, in that run. Um, it's just yeah. It's uh, the ship seems to constantly take a couple points of damage every time. Uh, we just found a heavy ion. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna buy buy a single power so we can do this. This heavy ion would be pretty nice. Um, although honestly, I'd like a different ion. Four jumps. One, two, three. four. Four is the way we're gonna do it, and then whatever happens happens. This is gonna be the end of the run. We're not gonna we're not gonna keep playing. Aid the civilian ship. Why? Yes, let's do that here. Um, more missiles. Big surprise. No need for two shields. So let's go ahead and do this. As soon as we've got the charge laser charged up, we are going to shoot it and this. Okay, their weapons are down, which is nice. Yeah, as usual, hard mode is just punishes you for for not having missiles on your own ship. <laughs> you had infinite supply of missiles. But it's critical we keep their shields down. There we go. Looks like they probably had a fire in their in their weapons room. But they're dead. Contact the civilians and oh we got lots of scrap for all those things. Okay. I'm going to actually pump this up twice, uh, and then we're going to buy a power as soon as we can. That way we can choose between two shields and four dodge, is the idea. Pledge to do what you can. Okay, next sector, well, we're never going to see that, because we're not finishing this run. And let's see. Uh, yeah, we definitely want two shields for this. So we're going to do this, and then... Uh, as long as he doesn't, uh, be mean with our, uh, with the drone and his gun, we should be fine. Okay, so we're going to take out his cockpit first, because he's trying to get away. And then next up is his shields, and as soon as we take his shields down, then we can go willy-nilly on this whole ship. And I think we're going to do that by shooting his drone and his gun, just to keep him from, from being mean. 
Oh, look, his whole ship is red. <laughs> 27 scrap. Heading to the exit. We wanted one more power, so we're going to buy it. And this is this is a pretty good a pretty good ship to end the sector on. We've got our second shield. We've got four engines. We can choose between those. We're gonna attack the slavers. Um, I, that's a duel. Or I'm sorry, that's a single. Uh, so we don't have anything to worry about with our weapons. So we're just gonna take their shields out, and then they're probably gonna offer us a slave. They might not offer us a slave. Uh, they're trying to get away, so yeah, they're not going to offer us a slave. So let's go ahead and take out their oxygen, just to be mean. <clears throat> 22 scrap, very nice. Uh, we did pretty good. Zoltan control to rocket control. We would probably pick Zoltans here just, just to avoid the, the missiles. Um, we're definitely ready for a store because we've got this heavy eye of the heal bomb and the system repair drone to sell. Um, and then we could probably buy a flak or something like that. This ship would, would go from awesome to fantastic. So definitely, definitely this ship would be good. Um, yeah, the only problem I see is the shields. And like I said, I think I caused it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you, uh, I hope you give this, this mod a try. It looks really cool. It looks like a way to essentially extend the game, uh, potentially forever. You could just, you know, roll, roll random ships and then just play them and see how they go. And then just, just roll new random ones if you either don't like them or if you get through them. Um, so yeah, looks good. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Like I said, I enjoyed playing it. I am Fifth Horseman and I will, as always, talk at you later.